My name is Mark Fillmore. I'm a professor of psychology at the University of Kentucky. I came here about 17 years ago from Canada, uh, shortly after getting my doctoral degree there. The University of Kentucky was actively recruiting individuals for substance abuse research in various departments and psychology was one of them. Some of the behavioral aspects that we study that make us psychologists uh, in this area of research are human behaviors. So we're very much interested in how a drug can affect your ability to react quickly to a situation or to suppress a reaction. Addicts or individuals that are developing substance abuse problems have a heightened attention or attraction to the visual cues for that drug. They look at a liquor ad in a magazine longer. They look at a billboard that shows a brand of alcohol. We can see this attraction in our measures through looking at where the eyes are. And for this, we've been employing a state-of-the-art technology in eye tracking. We have uh, devices where the monitor, the computer monitor that the subject is looking at, is actually looking back at them and can see where their eyes are and knows exactly where on the monitor they're looking. We also have a mobile device where the eye tracking is done with a small pair of glasses so that the individual can walk around a room and we can see how long they look at alcohol versus, say, a soda bottle. That gives us a measure of what we would call fixation time. And individuals that have a greater risk for developing alcohol abuse, they will look and be drawn to these visual cues more than an individual that is a moderate drinker. Every year I have a team of graduate students that work with several undergraduate students that do this as part of their graduate degree. It's also part of course requirements and uh, we work collectively as a team. We have meetings on a regular basis, uh, laboratory meetings where we discuss findings. Students present aspects of their research at conferences and publish papers with me. This research program wouldn't be where it is today. We would not have the publications or the funding if it wasn't for the, the support of the graduate students and the undergraduate students that work in my lab.